Hello, all of you being glorious, you wonderful people, and welcome back to City Skylines, where today we're not going to be building much over here, but I think this area needs just a little something just to kind of cap it off, and I think that little something is going to be, um, first of all, and by the way, if, if the colors look different than what you're used to, uh, yeah, they are. There we go. First thing is going to be that because we're going to build ourselves a little pedestrian path through here. Um, space already occupied, yeah, I know it is. Uh, I kinda wanna occupy that space. Uh, there we go, we'll just go there. I'll take that there, and then I want this to come all the way over to there. Uh, and then we're just gonna grab, move it, and bring that all the way up to the edge. Bring that all the way up to the edge. And then that should have got rid of the zoning there. It did not. I don't want people building a house right on top of that. Uh, that'll help people from here get across to there to the ferry boat. And then I just kind of want to just meander a little path here. Um, so sorry about your your house, folks, but it's, it's got to go. Uh, we're just going to kind of have a path that just wanders its way back here just to kind of connect these two ends and I think we'll end it right there and then we have a nice little path that people can use wow look at the number of people coming from that transit hub to go over there yes that was the right call and then I just want to see about maybe doing another one right here just to uh, connect these two sides as well. Since there is a little bit of entertainment right here via the restaurant pier, uh, or at least leisure, recreation, whatever it counts as, maybe that'll just help a little bit. Uh, these folks over this way, they can walk across the bridge and, you know, are. Uh, these don't need to be, I mean, they can be that high, I don't really care. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, but there's a bus stop right here, which is nice. So, you know, they can, if, if they want to go across there after they get off the bus and then walk across to either place, they can. This one getting used, whoop, hi, uh, quite a bit. So that's that's good. That's, that's very, very good. Um, I just thought that that might make this area look a little bit better. And then we're just going to kind of, that's not what I want. We're just going to kind of make it look a little bit better. You know what? Right before I press play, we were making like $50,000 a week. And as soon as I press play, the game's like, yeah, we're gonna make you look bad. Uh, it's not really the palm tree I want. Um, what other palm trees do we have? Thought we had other palm trees. I've downloaded a couple maps and they all came with, you know, their own set of assets. So I've got a lot of trees now. So it takes a little while to get through them here. Pine, I want a palm. Do I really only have a single palm tree? Blue gum tree, I don't know, I don't know where blue gum trees grow. Um, I have a single palm tree. Okay, I guess we're gonna use that one that I just had. Is it still, yeah, it's still on there. And we're just going to kind of decorate this path a little bit with just a few trees. I mean, we'll go on that side and then we'll switch to this side just to kind of fill this area, make it look a little better. I probably, honestly, could turn this into a park uh, and charge people money for walking through here and make some money off of it. I mean, we we could put the, the piers. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's turn this area into a park. Uh, not what I was planning on doing, but it's what we're doing now. So we're going to need to include all of this down to here. And we'll do a little bit back here too, maybe. And all of this, and we'll need to take that all the way down to here so that we can get a side gate there. We'll need to have it come across and we can even do some things here with it. Maybe run the path off to that little bit. And then we need it to come across here so that I can do a side path or a side gate there. So I'm gonna pause real quick. So we've got to now demolish all of these. 
connections that we just made. And because now we're gonna put in gates. Uh, I'm gonna use the really small ones. That's the side gate. Let's do our main gate uh, right up here by the, uh, this guy, right, right there. And we're gonna go ahead and upgrade these to the park path. Just so, you know, we get the nicer looking park path comes with trees. I don't have to go and put trees in, which is always a good thing. And then we just want a side gate there. We want a side gate. Oh, it doesn't want to go in there. And then we want a side gate right there. So it's already occupied by. What the bus stop? Is the bus stop? Is there a bus stop there? No. Bus stop there. Well, why can't I, why can't I put it there? Well, you know what? That's what I don't use for. There we go. <laughs> it's in now. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of change this bridge. I know there's a bajillion people on it, but no, oh, well, there's not now. Uh, and we're going to do, yeah, we're going to stick with the one with trees. And come straight out like that. And then this one's going to be a bridge straight over. And then we'll just finish this as our bridge. And then this guy just needs to connect up to the end right there and then what we could do up here is uh, another side gate uh, nah we'll do it off this here and just try to keep it from the street I don't know if that's gonna work or not we might need to move this dude over here then he's gonna complain about no road access yeah hmm. okay uh, well Maybe we'll replace that with one of the park piers. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so then we will squeeze this through here. You don't want it to get too close to the the street or they'll actually walk through. And then we're gonna make a really tight turn right here and have it kind of come back like right there. Kind of did some things with the landscaping, but that's okay. And we'll go right there. Um, so yeah, this dude can maybe come over here and yeah, he go there and take out a house. So if I've got, uh, anarchy on, so it didn't take out the house. Oops. Uh, let's try that again. Let's move you back. Turn anarchy off. I'm spending a lot of money to replace this thing over and over again, aren't I? There you go. And that should have you connected. Awesome. So now this will be a city park and actually make us some cash. Oh, we got to connect this end. Uh, I thought I put a gate in down here. Oh, I did. I guess I didn't. Okay. We will do that now. There we go. Fits in nicely in that single little spot that we have. That connects that nicely. And then we can just, you know... I don't know that we need these bigger items in the park. But maybe like some cafes and some restrooms and things like that. You know, just a nice little... Uh, cannot build a water. Uh, can I get this in here? Yep. And then maybe another cafe just chilling over here. Uh, and then maybe some park restrooms. Can I build on water? But there we go. I can build right there. And then we can get some of the park piers in here. Um, just occasionally, now and then, up here. Uh, there we go. And maybe one over right off of this. That works. Um... And then a couple gazebos just to wrap things or round things out, I guess is the word I want. Uh, there we go, gazebo there. And then we'll switch to a different color one. Put one there and we'll throw one in right back here. And then if I can get some of these play areas in, we'll put them in. If not, I'm not too terribly concerned about it. There we go, that one just fits. So as your kid bounces off the trampoline, they can land in the ocean. It'll be fine. Teach them to swim. Um, <laughs> again, another reason why I'm not a parent. Uh, I'd go to jail for throwing my kid into the ocean. Uh, so that gets us a nice little park. Uh, it should have the entertainment value, honestly. Yeah, it's got really good entertainment value. We're just going to crank that up. 
and do an advertisement campaign. And people will still see this as a very desirable way to get from one side to the other. So they'll just pay us money to do it. Uh, I don't know that Aspen Park is really the nice name for that, but hey, I'm sure somebody in the comments can come up with a better name. Uh, by the way, yes, like, once again, the game is running at full speed. Uh, it just doesn't get any faster than this. So then let's uh, just add in just a few more trees. We're just going to kind of spam them in here wherever it'll let us. It doesn't really want to put any in, does it? I'm sorry. Yeah, we're on the we're on as dense as it can get them. You know, I just kind of want it. I wanted really kind of light, lush vegetation out here, but it, it looks like if I'm gonna get that, then I'm gonna have to put them in one by one. Ooh. Okay. Well then, what are you? You're a yew tree. Horse and pine might look all right over here. Let's, let's see. Eh, not really. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to just kind of like plop trees down. I want it to look like, you know, they were just here, just growing, and then there was a development that happened right there, and then they preserved as much as possible uh, when they constructed the park. And we'll fill in kind of like some of these gaps between some of these trees as well. That way it looks a little more consistent. Let's get a few over here. Just to kind of shield the residents, give them a little bit of privacy, uh, while also adding a bit of beauty to our park. Totally not what I intended to work on today, but yeah, it's what we're doing. I intended to build actually an amusement park, or at least get a pier for amusement park started. That's right, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to do an amusement park here. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but, you know, we'll see. And then we'll just throw a couple more of these. Oh, I hear the uh, fire rescue chopper coming in. There's something must be on fire over here. Or is that the police chopper? No, that's definitely the fire chopper. Where are you going? What's on fire? Returning to depot. Don't know. Whatever it is, must have gotten put out by a fire truck. Still need to do more detailing over here. I mean, once you get down to it, it looks good, but I never finished it. Um, kind of, you know, see this as like, you know, the the shipping headquarters. You know, so I put a couple little office buildings there and then, you know, just overlooking all of the containers and everything. So anyways, yeah, I like, I like that we've got these areas connected a little bit better. A lot of people using that one. Few people using this one. Um, that guy's like, nope, I'll go the long way. It's totally fine, dude. Uh, but the question is, is it making this any money? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Good. So it, that was definitely a, uh, a worthwhile investment. That should be enough uh, entertainment value to get it all the way up, fully upgraded. Uh, let's just go through here and touch up this train just a bit. Um, soften, yeah. Just make, okay, maybe we don't need to do it that way. Maybe we need to kind of level this and bring this out a little bit. There, that doesn't look as bad. And then same thing right here, just kind of make it not look as lumpy and probably right here as well. Just kind of pull that out just a little bit. Kind of added a little bit more than I wanted to. So I'm going to come in with soften. And there. Yeah, I like that. Cool. And then people will rebuild uh, from where I, you know, kind of force them to tear their stuff down. Oh, they'll be all right. They'll get over it. So cool. That gets that all connected. Not a lot of people using this gate. But man, the number of people coming from over here from our ferry boat connection and then walking across is just really impressive. Um, I'm quite happy with it. And that's a lovely view. I mean, like, look what you get to see when you go across that bridge. You know, it's just, it's a good view. Even this way, it's a nice view. The water and overlooking the city, it, it's nice. And then you're like, oh, hey, I'm about to head over to this 
nice park area that's surrounded by gargantuan buildings. You know, so it's cool. I dig it. So what I want to do is I want to have over here an amusement park pier. Oh, dear God, what is happening? Eight changers or it's this. Yeah, it's this thing here is just not. There's not enough lanes, I don't think. Um, we've only got this one lane here. Let's see if we can do something about this real quick. If I can get it to fit here. One thing is that is then only two lanes. So now we're going to need to go a national highway here. Oh, I know your space is already occupied. We're going to unoccupy it. There we go. And then that means this needs to become two lanes as well. So that will help a little bit more traffic get through. Um, what I don't want is what we're seeing. All of these guys that are just using this to exit back onto the highway. No. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, so what we need to do is come up with a better solution. The only problem is we've set it so that these guys can only get on here. And what if they do want to exit? I'm going to have to do some weird things here. Okay, so the first thing first, these guys, if they're in this lane, you've got to exit. If you're in this lane, you have to continue on around. So anybody wanting to go right can go right. And we, we will set that so that they can come to either one of these lanes. They can go all three of these directions. And then these guys can go that way. These guys can go there or there. Yeah. So then if you're wanting to go right out that way, you can. If you're wanting to go, actually, is there a reason for them? Yeah, because they need to be able to turn left there. Okay, so that's going to prevent this side from using that as an exit lane. So what we need to do is make sure they stick to that. And we also need to do a little work here. Because right now we don't want them going uh, up. There we go. So those guys forced to go right. Those guys forced to stay in that lane. These guys can have that lane or that lane. And then these guys, actually there won't be of these guys because nobody really turns this way. I've got it blocked. So there really won't be anybody in this lane. So see, that's why I didn't want to have this side able to come to this lane as well. Because then they'd be able to go boop like that. But... If I say that that's the only place you can go, then I can come over here and let them spread out. And maybe that'll help that a little bit. Um, I also wonder if this really needs to yield. Because it looks like they are yielding. Well, they're not. So... What if we just let them carry on through, too? Is that going to create... So it looks like the majority of vehicles are staying in this inside lane. Like the vast majority of them are. So if we can just let them go and it doesn't create a traffic problem, yeah, there we go. We, we've sorted that. Cool. Now, do we have people doing the same thing over here, just getting back on the highway? Like literally just coming down and getting, and getting back on the highway. So like that guy just got off. No, he's going to the post sorting facility, so I think we're okay. However, I need to, I need a sip of water while we watch that guy. They are having a bit of trouble getting on. But look at that other side. They have uh they've cleared right out. I do see a problem up here. These idiots are jumping across, you know, several lanes of traffic, so Kindly don't do that. There you go. Change lanes down there. Just flow through there. Just flow there. See how much nicer that is for everybody. Yeah. Uh, so what's going on here? What's our problem? These guys really should be giving way. And I bet that when I clicked this earlier. Yeah. And these guys should be giving way. 
And these guys should be giving way. There we go. Uh, that might cause a little bit of backup here. There we go. You got people getting out of their lane. Um, so is this still set up correctly? Yes, you can go to any lane. You are going to exit. You are going to go that way. Then you can choose. Um, but we're not letting this side go that way. Why not? Why did I do that? I don't know. I guess when I upgraded it, it took it off. So look, you guys can go that way. But we don't want... Well, we want these dudes to be able to go that way. So you can go there and you can just go there. Yeah. That'll work. And I guess we'll let them go on around as well. Well, no, if they want to go around, they've got that. Gosh, that's a mess. There you go. So now when they come off, they can go that way or they can come on around the roundabout. It's not ideal. We've got a lot of potential. Whoa. Uh, why aren't you guys following the road? What? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they're not following the road. There we go. We got that cleaned up. A uh, little bit of backup happening here now, uh, mainly because this intersection is just a nightmare and it has been a nightmare for a while what I wish I could see okay that is set up for left only okay so that it seems to be and this is our main road but we don't want to cause we don't want to have these guys yield either I'd like for these but the majority of them are turning right let's say that and then we've got these guys all going straight through I think once this clears up, this should start clearing up. Yeah, it's kind of taking care of itself. And then once that clears up, this should clear up, which will include this as well, because then these cars will be able to get out. Yeah, this is this is sorting itself out. So I think we've got that taken care of. We're up to 191,000 people. I started at like 188, so we've gained 3,000 people in the past 22 minutes. Anyway, so um, I've kind of lollygagged around and never got to what I wanted to start. I kind of want, like, almost as best I can directly in front of the airport here, bring uh, a pier out. So I'm going to do, just to help me find that line, is just do that. That's just a temporary thing I want to do here. And then from there, I now have like an idea of where I want to do my terraforming. Um, to help me terraform, though, I think I'm going to come here and I want like an, one of these new content creator walls. I want to be able to walk on both of them. Uh, let's I don't want the super wide one. So I think I want to go with this one. So that would line up right there. So then to get it there, we would go like something like that. And I want it to snap to that same angle, but it's not wanting to. And I don't understand exactly why. I don't want it to snap to that one. Are all my, okay, so let's go with just road guidelines. There we go. So we, I guess we could put it there. Just in with that one. I wish it would snap there, but oh well, it won't. So what I'm going to do is just build straight out and then raise this up. I don't know how big I need it to be. I'm going to go like 15 across and then bring it back up. Like that. And then we're going to come in here just to help us get this set we're going to set this to the height of there so we know that's good and then we're going to grab all these other nodes that are currently underwater if i can find them all the rain's not helping i don't want the whole segment there we go so that node and then that node and then we're going to line those up to the height of that guy and now i've got like a perimeter wall here and i'm pretty sure i can fit a whole amusement park in here we may have to adjust, but I've got a whole little perimeter wall there. So now I can come in here, level terrain, grab this, 
and just start filling this in. Let's bring our brush size up a little bit more here. Just start filling this all in. It's probably gonna create some temporary flooding. That's why I'm doing this before I start developing the rest of this area over here by the airport. So that at worst, we're just temporarily flooding some roads and not flooding. Okay, why are your stairs on the inside? We'll figure that out in a minute. Um, it's like they're on the outside there and then they switch the inside, but we're just, temp we're just temporarily flooding some roads this way. We're not, you know, destroying a development that we just made by, by doing it now. So that helps us go a little bit bigger and turn you on. There we go. That's the stuff. So then that looks like that might've killed those stairs. What I want to do here on this side is, whoop. Not soften, I guess. I guess I want to level. It's level to like here. And then just get this wall exposed. No, I guess not. Okay, well then we'll just rebuild that part of it. That's fine. For whatever reason, that side's not wanting to cooperate with us. So we want that. And we want to come straight out to yeah, there. There we go. That looks good. Just a little bit to touch up here in the middle. Go back to our nope, level and grab that and then just give this one last little pass here. And then I, I'm pretty sure I can get a whole amusement park on there. And I think it'll look quite nice. And then we can just have, you know, our entrance just maybe bring a road off this. And it's almost dead in front of the airport, maybe a little bit shifted to that side. But the idea was that, you know, it kind of creates like just this visual line. And we may even do something with some roads or maybe a park or something else that goes down this way. I don't know. So we will do that. Then I'm going to bring in just a road here. Um, for this to come through that I want lined up with that, but I don't want it there. So I'm just going to put in a bit of road here so that I then have this as a guideline here. Uh, anarchy's on. Let's turn that off. And there. And I think just coming in off of one side will be fine. I think that will suffice. Because we can, you know, have a bus that comes to here. And then this is going to be our park entrance, just right here. Um, I might want to have this road dip down just a little bit to the height of our pier. Well, I did not hold shift. Not the height of our pier, but our key walls, K walls. However you say it, I don't really know. And then this will become an amusement park that we will probably get started on. In the next video, let's go ahead and just paint that in. Um, just one big blob like that. Because this is the only thing we lack in this city. We have a zoo. We have now two, uh, three actually, uh, like city parks. The uh, This guy, the city park. We have a zoo. We have a couple of nature reserves, or maybe just one. I'm not sure. But we, we don't have an amusement park. So we're going we're gonna to plop down that main gate just right here in the middle so that we can kind of get like a middle promenade walkway as close as I can get it to the middle here. Um, let's uh, use move it and slide that just a bit. Show the grid so I can make sure that I am pretty much in the middle. And that looks like it. So that will be Trippy Land who's like, hey, we need water. If you're going to build a music park out here, we're going to need water, pal. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. So let's get them some water. And then we will wrap this up and pick it up in the next video. So there. Always have to follow the roads. It's just the way you do it. Or the way you should do it, in my opinion. And then I think if we just do like that, we should. Yeah, we can cover the whole park with one central pipe. We're also going to have one big central park walkway that just runs 
this whole expanse. Maybe we'll straighten it out down here on this end. Uh, but for now, it's just going to go like this. We might have the roller coaster, if it'll fit, go this direction instead of that direction. This should all change color uh, over time as the grass starts to grow. So I may let the game run just a little bit between videos. Is that not straight? The It is. Yeah, it's straight. It's just at this angle, it looks... It's just the, it's just the camera messing with me. It is, it is straight. Anyways... That's going to do it. I'm happy that we're going to finally have an amusement park. Uh, these folks that live over here will be able to go to it. We'll have like a, a bus that comes over here or maybe a metro or something that, that comes to this area. But that's all something we'll look at in the future. Until then, I'm Brandon reminding you, uh, my voice speaks, to stay vainglorious.